Hello, it's Technology Central here, and welcome to the final video in our seven part tutorial series about using Open Office Presentation. In this tutorial, we're going to be looking at animation and slide transitions. Let's start with animations. You can animate any object or text within your presentation. To add an animation to an object, click on it and then come over to this right hand menu. Here you see the custom animation option. Click on it and this will bring up the animations for that object. To add a new animation, click add. Here you have different options for animations. You have entrance animations, emphasis animations, exit, motion path and some others. I'm going to add an entrance animation and I'm going to choose this split animation. You can see the preview there. You can change the speed of the animation. For example, I'm going to make it slow and when you're done, click OK. You can now see this is the list of animations that apply to this object. The animations will start on click. You've chosen a direction for horizontal and it'll be slow. I can play this animation by clicking the play button and here I can see a preview of that animation. I'm now going to add a second animation which will be an emphasis animation which will be darken like so and then click OK. Now we have these two animations that will happen one after another. To change the order these animations happen in, you can use these arrows to move a particular animation up or down in the ordering. Now I've moved the entrance animation below the colour changing animation. Let's have a look at the slideshow to watch both animations in order. That's everything we wanted to show you for animations, so now let's look at slide transitions. To add a slide transition, come to slide transition. It's this icon below the star which we used for animations. Then select the transition you want between your slides. For example, this transition here. Again, you can choose the speed of the animation and you can add some sound to the animation if you choose. You can now choose whether to move on between slides when you click or to do it automatically after a period of time. For example, one second. We've now applied this transition to this first slide and that's denoted by this blue symbol in the left hand corner of the slide in the slides pane. If we click apply to all slides, you can now see this symbol has appeared for all three slides because we have added the transition to all of our slides. If we start a slideshow, we can now see that transition happens. We've now stepped through our animations that we entered earlier. And now we automatically transition to the next slide after one second. And now we have reached the end of our presentation. We can click to exit the presentation. That's all we wanted to show you in this series. I hope you found it very useful. If you have, make sure you leave a like, subscribe and leave us a comment. I also recommend checking out our series on how to use Google Slides. But for now, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Goodbye.